This is the Gallagher S40 uh, charger with the built-in battery. That was nice. It had its own leads and some T-posts and some clips and we've got a little electric fence going. Welcome back to the channel guys. This is Edge of the Forest Homestead and we've got another project for these goats. So I'm gonna pick you up right here and give you a look and this is what we're dealing with. So everybody right now is in the stalls and they've done about as much clearing as I think they're gonna do. Um, if you look at our previous videos, you can see it was really overgrown and these girls were kind of lazy. They're really short. So they don't get up really high. I was having to cut the limbs down and the little saplings and little trees and all the vines and put them down on the ground for them to really eat them. Everything that's left is stuff they didn't like, <laughs> pretty much. And we need to get them trained to this electric fence so that we can start moving them out to the next paddock. So what we got is I ordered this Gallagher S40 portable solar fence energizer. And I looked up this and I actually seen it on another channel. And uh, it's good for pigs, uh, cattle, and goats and sheep. Now, getting the goats to get trained to is going to be a little harder. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to run like four lines of electric wire. What I did get is this galvanized electric fence 17 gauge. Now, we'll see if this holds up. And the next poly wire we got is this this American Farmworks. I know this is the cheap one. This was about $39.99. This was $19.99 on sale. And then the charger was anywhere like $230 to $250. But I like this one a lot because it has a built-in battery. Um, it has your terminals for you know your pot ground and your power and it has the clips to go with it. open this up and it comes with the battery it comes with your uh, your ground and your positive and all you have to do to get everything going is hook up this positive screw this back on just so I can show you the bottom this sits right on top of a t-post so that's what we're gonna be uh, putting our line on so this is gonna work out good so it just sits right on top of the t-post and you can just kind of pivot it any way you want so that we get the best, you know, sunlight. So this is a really good buy that I think. And uh, I've seen other channels that use this, so that's why I got this. So we'll go down, like I said, we're gonna use T-Post. So I went and got some T-Post clips. These were at McCoy's. They might've been like eight bucks. This is a five inch T-Post uh, extender and you can see it there just long and you can go through it but what i liked it has the open spaces so when we come to a corner i can just wrap through that and tie it then i got some short uh, shorter ones these were at mccoy's as well there's a 25 count this might have been five dollars and these are just shorter ones they wrap around same as these here but they're just shorter now i've got these uh wood post insulators and i just kind of grabbed more this is the same kind like I said, we do have wood posts that we're gonna be going through this in the next paddock, not really in, you know, the barnyard here where we're gonna train them to it before we can move them out. So I got these, these were around $6.99, I believe. And then we got another kind of wood post insulator. So that just gets nailed to the wood post as in the picture. Like all these were anywhere from six to $7. This is a 25 county well as well. And then this one here, is another it has a wood post pin lock insulator this one a little bit more expensive i think this was 9.99 but uh the way it works is you just put that little that it's kind of hard to do with one hand okay there we go so that just kind of slides in there and then we can tie around that little pin and pull it out if you want and this has place for two holes for nails to go through or screws and uh this goes to wood too so i might use this on the wood posts that are out there on the actual five strand of barbed wire fence out there. So I got these, these were a little bit more expensive and of course we have these little donuts. These were the cheapest, there's only a 10 count 
and I think we got these at uh, Supply of the Tractor as well. And uh, you know, I can use this uh, wire here, cut off a little piece, and then wrap it around the T post or the post or whatever, and then run the electric wire through this that, uh, that poly wire. So the tools I got, you know, I just got a little hammer because these do come with their own nails. The smaller one came with its own nail. That was always a plus. And these didn't, the ones with the pin, but these did. We came with their own nails too, this style. So I got, got the hammer for that, I think. And that's always good when they come with their own nails. Hey, lady. You gonna eat my bag? Well, I guess they are eating that hay. Gotta eat. So I got a hammer for that. Um, these are the uh, hoof uh, trimmers that we had got, and uh, that's in a previous video. This is Producer's Pride, and they were actually pretty sharp, and they worked pretty good. So you ought to check out that video. I'll leave a link um, in the description or maybe like a, an icon that you can push at the end of this video so you can get into that. So it's not hard. You know, beginners can do it. It's very easy. So then I just have a, a regular pair of uh, little adjustable pliers. Um, some needle nose pliers with a little cutter on it and then I brought these this is mainly for electrical wire but you know I can uh, use it for cutters or bend it or whatever just I just brought it just in case and have some t-post clips so we don't need those so I'm gonna let this uh it looks like the rain stopped and died down so yeah I got a lot of cleaning up to do so I'm gonna try to hook up the GoPro and we're gonna start with putting some t-post all the way around and then it won't go the full length we're just trying to train them here and i want it on that side because that's eventually where the wire is going to go and we might get into putting the uh, wire press for the first small paddock there so we can kind of let them out there to kind of graze that area as well but i don't think they're going to go out today because like i said the goats the gates wide open and they're hanging out in here and they're enjoying this low quality hay it's supposed to rain tomorrow on the day after so i think oh, that's not for you lady don't eat plastic no 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 Okay, so let's get to it. sledgehammer why am i going to spend twenty dollars thirty dollars on a t-post driver when i don't have to it's a little bit more muscle and we have a load of t-post so we don't have to spend any money on this part T-post clips. I think I'm gonna use the short ones on the end T-post and the longer ones in the two middle ones. So, having the load. All right, so we're back. I had to run to the house and get another battery. It went dead on me. It happens. Are you checking it out, little buddy? So, what I'm gauging at this, the height is the animals. And yeah, the, the little ones do that. So, I'm also thinking about when we get the pigs. So, this has got to be maybe six to eight inches. And I just kind of evenly went up as best as I could. And uh, we'll just try three strands to see if that goes. Now, if they jump over it, 
then we'll have to go to a fourth one and maybe with that uh that 17 gauge wire so this is one pose done it hadn't taken me no time at all it took longer to go get another battery than to do this so let's get back to it all right these are gonna be a little bit harder than i thought so i really didn't read this too good these are backside clips If I would have read a little bit better, they go on the back side. Normally, that would be your front. So, I think we might be okay. So it's kind of a pain to uh, twist that around the back side, but uh, I'm getting it. Some more clips. I'm gonna get three of the smaller ones. See, it actually does say I didn't see it. It's backside T post extenders, and these are just say claw insulators. So it is what it is. We'll make it work. Wasn't hard at all. It is sprinkling, but they say this GoPro is a waterproof for so many feet below water. But we're gonna test that out today. And these here gonna run around the back side, so maybe that'll be good when I pull tight on it. It'll pull back against that T-post. So let's go get our wire, and it is sprinkling pretty bad. So I'm gonna set y'all up an area where you can kind of get a whole overview of everything. We got most of this ran and it is touching so i'm gonna have to add another t-post so i started here at the bottom 
unrolled went all the way to the end went up to the next one came all the way back and just kind of wrapped it and then went up all the way around and it's pretty surprising that this uh cheaper wire it has those uh stainless steel wires in it so this might do pretty good but here on the back side i'm having to do some trimming in here in the front and the actual trees in the way i thought we were going to get away from it so i'm just going to put another t-post in and we'll push it back and that might tie up tighten up the line just a little bit more so i did really good here really happy with this so if they touch it they get zapped they're going to know they got to come back especially here this is pretty tight to it but see all these little vines I've got to trim those and then there's one tree I call it a weed tree the little stumps touching but that's nothing I can just cut that lower and uh, I've got it tied up here so we're getting there okay so we got the uh, the fence lined out now let's get to the charger I'm gonna open up the back again. I'm just gonna set that down there. All we have to do is hook up the positive. Pull off this little plastic uh, protector. Put that positive up. Close this back up. Like so. Wire in there. And just uh, screw that back in. So that's how you get to the battery now these are our leads we're gonna take these with us and uh, get this put on that water does not affect those babies you can see them they've already hopped the fence and they are grubbing out over there all four of them so let me get you set up all right so we're gonna go ahead and set this up here and uh this is facing south so we'll get all the sun and there's really no trees over it and everything's pretty bare so this is where we're going to start out with it so we're just going to hook up these leads start with the ground this t-post for now and uh i still need to get a grounding rod so now we're gonna do the positive we're gonna hook this straight up just to the line itself we have the positive running down straight to the wire we have the ground just to this t-post for now the ground's really wet I will go get a, a grounding rod, but for now, that's what we're going to do. Let's see if we can get this thing to come on. It's off now. We're going to set it. And there we go. Flashing green. That's to keep uh, wildlife out, so it's a stronger jolt. And that's what we want. And uh, we're good. It's hot. Ooh, I really want to touch this. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, oh yeah, I got me. It's on. Oh, it's on. So hopefully we get some sunlight in a couple days and uh, get this thing all the way charged up. So it's just three strands. And I did have to come out here and trim a little bit. And I had to run another T-post so it would get behind that tree there. Runs around. Runs around here. It went all the way down to the last T-post. So I might add another one, but I think this is really good. This is really low, and I think that's gonna help. I don't know if you can tell. You know, that's about one hand length. And I'm just really thinking about the babies, the baby piglets. So I think we'll train the three strands here at this low height and then medium and high. So once they get bigger, I think we can go up just to two strands higher, but we'll see. And I'll just tie it off here at the end. Nothing fancy. And 
and there it is this is the training fence and then once we get all this uh what is wrapped up i need to get out here and start putting some t-post in to uh to run this line here we're gonna run from look at that wet and everything i'm gonna do the same three strands from this wooden post here all the way down to this t-post And then I kind of want them to, to eat some of that up. If they can get in there and get some things, there's not much. But I might run out here. And all the way to the corner of the barn. Just so they can get in. There's a little bit of grass in here. And some of the little, little vines that have some green stuff in, in here. So I'll probably try to give them this whole area coming up. So it didn't take long. It wasn't hard. The clips were the worst thing. Some of them didn't want to go on. It is what it is. But you live and you learn. Let's see if we can corral these baby goats. Come on. Time to go back. Come on. 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 Let's go. Come on. Time to go back. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, time to go back in. Come on, I know. Time to go back in. Come on. Time to go back in. Let's go. Come on. There we go. All right, that'll do it for this video. This is the Gallagher S40. Uh, charger with the built-in battery that was nice it had its own leads and t-posts and some clips and we've got a little electric fence going so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe um, like comment if i'm doing things wrong let me know if there's anything that i could do better this is youtube uh y'all are gonna let me know so thanks for watching goodbye